Um, we're in tier four. That means no locals, no shops are open. So um, let, let's talk about this. The series, I'm still planning on it running. So don't worry about that. That is not going to change. We're still going to have sealed only Pokemon going forward. The problem is we now have no local shop we can buy from. So I'm going to have to buy off online what I don't like doing. Um, I could go to a local shop, but it's very hard to order just like 30 quid's worth of gear online to then get it. I'm going to have to figure out something, but that's my problem, not yours. So let's talk about the game plan going forward. Since regionals are not going to be a thing for the foreseeable future, we have Players Cup 3 coming up. So I think Players Cup 3 is the thing to aim for with our deck. I feel like our deck is pretty good at the moment. It needs a couple extra cards. So once I said again, we are looking for Age of Slash V. So I'm gonna bust some more Vivid Voltage, see what we get. I'm still uh, apprehensive about this new tier four restriction and what that means. So let's say our goal now, still of like sort of going to regional and trying to get the top. I am gonna say, let's just try qualify for Players Cup. If we can qualify for Players Cup and see how far we get into that run, that'd be really cool. If we don't qualify for Players Cup, we don't qualify for Players Cup and we keep going for it until we qualify for something. Um, at the moment, Limited, Limitless TCG have banned ADP from all their current events. That really affects our deck. <laughs> um, not too bad because I still think Zacian is a very good powerhouse card. I don't know if I should build a deck to be based around the Limitless tournaments since they're the main ones what we'll probably be able to play in for the next foreseeable future. But, but, with Players Cut coming up, I'm going to keep ADP in. We're going to practice with ADP um, and go from there. So, yeah. Let's go bust some packs, let's see what we pull, and we'll look at the collection after we bust these packs. Okay, so for today's pack opening, we have nine Vivid Voltage packs. Since we are going for the Age of Slash V, so, and to let you know, I have bought a booster box of Vivid Voltage, so we've got four weeks I'm trying to grab this bloody card. <laughs> so, we need metal coating energies and Age of Slash. So that's what we're going for. So we're going to bust these packs and see what we get. So, let's open up the Celebi pack and see what we get. First pack out of the nine. We pull the Age of Slash like, out of the first pack. I might just cry because it's like, find the boost box worth. It's great and all, but... Um, two, three, four. Let's see what we get. Got a fighting energy. Uh, Jigarath, Alistair, Cramoran, Talio, Charmander, Whooper, Blowing Me Out, Cottony, Explode, and a Steelix. Now that would be funny. Steelix is a metal Pokemon, and that would kind of be cool as a second attacker. But we've got another V. Can't argue with that. Okay, uh, let me explode. Now, reverse hollows. Alright, go again. There, one, two, three, four. Steel! Oh, we get the metal coating energy we need. Uh, Light Red, Zebra Strike, Coating Energy. Thank God. Ottawa, Pineco, Clefairy. Tanamo, Lil Curry, Reverse Hollow Sableye, and an old Creamy Rare. Okay, so, our Creamy is not a bad Pokemon. Uh, it's not the though. Let me draw, let me just go draw a card. Yeah, that's not really a cool ability, is it? But, we'll keep going. Keep pulling, see what we get. Lightning energy, aroma energy, 
Graventula, Swallow, Arakuda, Ninkada, Picky Peck, Kuchiana, Rockruff, a Reverse Hollow Dorewalt, and oh, we have a Golden Orangaroo. Now, that is definitely going in the deck for a bit of bling. I am buzzing about that pull, man. That is sick. Man, this card feels so weird though, but it's a good pull. I am happy with that. So we'll, uh, our, our deck is like slowly getting a bit of bling with a golden shiny Oranguru. Hell yeah. I don't know if you guys actually play with your bling cards, but I, I believe in playing in bling. It's fun. Uh, we have a Grass Energy, Zebra Strike, Excadrill, Nuzzly, Chulet, Ryulu, Eevee, Z-Dut, Electrike, a Nuzleaf in Reverse Hollow, and a Full R Opal. Oh my god, we are pulling some bangers in this opening. Damn. I, I, I can't complain, like... I, I just can't complain now. Some back-to-back -back pulls, like... We're, we're smashing it in this opening. Absolutely smashing it. Okay, still need some more Dakota and Engies though. Dakota and Engie is going to help us. And we'll flip, we've got Fire, Hero's Medal, Sungfisk, Sableye, Lover Meowth, Chimeco, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, Cramorant, and a Hollow Rare Shaman. Man, Shaman used to be good, but not so much. But we'll put him there for the time being. All right, we've got four packs left, and we've already at least blinged out our deck a little bit. We've uh, also got a metal current energy, what's going to help us out big time. Uh, four and boom, fight energy, Kakuna, Lydred, Wide on Stadium, Mercury. Skiddo, Eevee, Trubbish, Shop It, Electronic Reverse Hollow, and a Shed Ninja Normal Rare. Now, the Shed Ninja deck has potential to be really quite spicy, but man, it's it's a, it's a hard, uh, hard deck to pull off. Especially since you're going to have to do some switching. There's, there's, some, there's, some, uh, there's some bullshit you have to pull on that one. So let's go. Four. We still need a couple more current NGs. Got a Psychic, got a Dewoot, got an Opal, got a Metang, got a Wisma, Trubbish, Timo, Clobopus, Woobat, Reverse Hollow Clefairy, and a Tricon Rare. Okay, not um, not too great, not too great on that one. Nothing we can really use. I do like the Clefairy for the mini metronome. I can just see that being an absolute dickhead pack. Flip a coin, choose an attack and use it. That could be fun. Maybe flip corn date. Do we do it for the lols? Who knows? Okay, let's go. Got a psychic energy. Carolus. Stone energy. Electric. Wisma. Execute. Woobat. Another Beldum. Blitzel. Stone energy reverse. Nice. And an Age of Slash. We pulled the card rear after I am buzzing. We have the Age of Slash re to go in this deck. Hell yeah, no more is um, um, Obstagoon and Decidueye going to cause us an issue. Altaria is not going to cause us an issue because this bad boy just swings in and kills him. So that's a great add to this deck. Oh man, this has been a great pack opening. If we get another um, cooking energy right now, I think that's the only thing that we'll really finish this off. But let's let's just see. One, two, three, four. Okay. And flip. Oh, we've got fire energy. Oh. We've got a Mag Cargo. League Star. Croc Croak. Talio. A Charmander. Whoopa! Glow Meowth. Cottony. Reverse Hollow Zekrom. Very nice. And a Quagsire to finish it off. As our rare, but my god, what pulls we have here? J 
just getting uh, these five cards is really going to help out our deck like beyond belief. Um, the Orangaroo, just adding a golden Orangaroo to our deck just for the flex makes me a very happy boy. Like the Age of Slash to come through. I might add the Steelix, I don't know, but get one Metal Coat and NG is a step closer to where we want to be going forward. The only thing is though, with Limitless banning ADP, I don't know if I want to build my deck around not having ADP or build around Players Cup, what's coming up, I do not know. But I think I'll make it the ADP just to go for the Players Cup in practice. But it's time to look at the binder. How a binder as it stands, we have the Full Art Dragapult, the Fat Chunk of Chew, VMAX, the Amazing Rare Celebi, what is still arguably my favorite card, Opal in Full Art, what's sick? But we also got um, the V Steelixes now, and the Zaconda in V, Magnum Mir, Genesec, two Frost Moth, what I'm very happy with all. So we've got the Shaman and the Fuchiana's Reverse Hollow and all our reverse, uh, reverse Hollows from here. So we're, we're, we're slowly getting a nice little uh, bind on the go. Nothing too special in here yet, but the Chonga Tree is pretty cool. But pulling the gold Orangaroo and putting it into the deck makes me very happy. So yeah, great. That's our current binder situation. I, in the past two episodes, I have actually forgot to talk about my deck. So, let's talk about my deck. We're still running two Orangaroo because that's just a good way to make sure we get the cards we want on top and not have to worry about what we're looking for. The one ADP, because I don't feel like two is worthwhile. We've got a two Den Dene just for the uh, um, digging through ability. We've now got our new Aegis Slash added. This should now stop any Decidui builds or Altaria builds really getting in our way. We've got the Giarchi. We're now dropped, we actually dropped one Giarchi for the Age of Slash. I think two is plenty enough. Three Zation, because you need three that, I just feel like I need three Zation no matter what. We've got the Mutu still, that's our version of Elder Goss. Um, once I get through getting all the Metal Coat and NG from Third Voltage. I think Elgos will be our next hunt. So watch this space. We've got two NG Spinner just to get the search of NGs. NG Switch. So if we go turn two, we can ugly try to pull off the um, GX. We've got Metal Saucer for them bad boys because they're great. Two Ordinary Rods to get NG back in if we lose it. We've got a Quick Balls, four of them. We've got one Reset Thanos. Stamp, because I do believe stamping someone to one is just dirty and it's great. We've got the scoop up nets, just for the Giachi more than anything, just to get that back to our hand and out of the way. So that is, and the Mutu if we need to use it again. Once again, scoop up net, I think it's great. Full switch, just get shit out of the active what we need. We've got the one Viridian Forest, so if we need to, we can search the water nice and quick. Two boss, as every deck needs two boss. Four Marnie, four research as a go-to. Skylar, what I just use a one-off, just because I think she's a great little search when we want to find something. So we're throwing Skylar. We've got the Sonya, what I think is also another great search card just to help us out if we're going to turn two. A two Air Bloom, one Big Charm, one Metal Curtain NG. I just took one NG out to make the Metal Curtain NG in, and then two Water. So this is our current build. We'll get into a few games and see where we are at. I know over the past couple of weeks, I've done the video slightly different where I haven't really talked over my games, but I really actually do want to talk over my games this time. So we'll go ahead, see if we can win. So I do actually prefer that way. Unless it's a boring game and I'll just mute myself out and go for it. Oof, what a shit hand. Right, that's a little better. So I wish. Take the Viridian. 
Uh, we'll drop the Viridian Forest. Have I priced almost a oh, I've priced two Zations? Fucking seriously? I really get the age slash anyway. So it's not too much of an effort. And then we'll put it done. Okay. We're not in a bad position. Not in a good position. But we're in a position. The top deck might change what I do. Alright, what are we playing here? Alright, this is going to be some weird rogue decks. I see a world to go down from the Alistair. Cape of Toughness on the Swabu. Why are you putting it on the Swabu? Don't you evolve it? I won't do shit. Get your thinking, kind of, but I don't. Alright, just hit me with a peck. Alright, Ordinary Rod doesn't really do much. So I'm gonna go there, ditch you Ordinary Rod. Take the Steel Energy. Pop that on Son there. Hit the Sonya. And we're gonna go... Aegislash Slash and a Dendene. So I feel like these are gonna be the best ones to go for. Drop the Aegis Slash. Drop the Dendene. Activate the Dendene. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Drop the balloon on there. Oh, do I put that in the Aegis Slash? We'll put that in the Aegis Slash. I feel like I'm going to have to save his life more than I'm going to have to save everything else. We'll alter creation. All right, there's the Altaria, hit me with the speed, and there's the Chew. Okay, Misty's favor, search your deck up to three supporters, be limited to your hand and shuffle deck. Okay, so you're gonna try to stall that out. That's a fair plan to you, my man. Pointless plan, but it's a fair plan. Right, what can we grab us? Let's train a gun perk. Alright, here I could do some magic, I think. There's a research. Doesn't really help me out. So we're going to go Skylar. And go... Oh, we've got five left in there. I haven't got what I thought I needed. Kind of sucks. So that's cool. Alright, we'll go for... This to ditch. This. Grab that. Because I know I can't attack. For the time being. But damage might not go in. But I can stop the Aegis Slash ready for next turn. And if I retreat out anyway, I can get my energy back. So it's fine. I could even try to play for the boss. Don't know if that'd be worthwhile. There's a speed energy and a chunk of chew. 310. But no resistance. So that's mildly beneficial for me. What the hell is this deck? I have no idea what the hell this deck is, but fair. Let's go. Uh, we'll play the Zation. Uh, we'll treat into the Age Slash, ditch all that crap. We'll drop the Metal Saucer onto him. Um, uh, we have two Metal in there. That doesn't really matter, so we'll just research. Hope that we get something more. Cool, we'll power him up. Ready for whenever this dies, but we got 
knock out this. So that deals with that problem. Take the two fires off that. Now we've just got to knock out the chunk of chew. Well, it's not a bad play. Alright, we need a boss. So if we get a boss off that, we're good. We could try and knock that out. Here for the free prize. But I'd rather knock that out. So we need a boss. Right. That's one with three. Walk them to that and get that route. Unless we top deck a boss. Can we top deck the boss? If we can, then we might be well off here. Oh, no. No top deck there. Top deck gods weren't with us. I'll drop him up. Drop a water engine on it. Still a wish. What we got? No. Don't scoop up that though. Um. Scoop up the Jarchi. And we'll promote the Zation. What is he sitting on 210? Hmm. Got that there. Do we have a boss in there? Oh, we do. Ah, I shouldn't use the scoop up now. I've just misplayed like a bitch. But at least we can boss that up in a turn. Take the free prizes. Novelization. I can't believe I prized two of them bad boys. That's just hard luck that is. I say that can hit me for a lot of damage this turn. Really? What is this deck? V Max box? I I don't even what to call this. I really don't know what to call this. I think a V Max box is like the closest name I could give it. Alright, so that hits for 270 and it ditches that NG. And then a scoop. Save nothing after you knock this out anyway. But, okay, cool. Um, we've got a boss as well to come out. But I'll take that. That that was a weird, that was a weird, 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 weird deck. Okay, next game. Let's go. Why else do I use that? Not a bad start. Could be worse. Now oh, what we've got. Oh, Mad Party. Hello. Okay, so. There's still a wish, this bad boy. Oh, man. Not lots. Not what I was really looking for, that. Uh, get some metal sauce we'll have to do for this turn and pass oh I think we might um, have our first ADP brick mad party Roxy get rid of that's it knockout GG what are you building you've won Yes? Oh no, it's 40 in there. Okay, cool. Maybe not yet then. There's 60. Are they gonna do it? Go up to a 60 count. Primate Wisdom. One more and then I lose. Oh, Grey Ball is searching. There's the faulty geist. Oh man, that's luck. And I wake up. Cool. Give me a Pokemon! Fuck you, game. Alright. I feel like I should just drop the Sonya. 
and just hope, or do I research and go for it? Screw it, research and go for it. Yeah, of course I want to get rid of my hand. My hand is a shit show right now. That nearly came around and bit me in the ass. Go oh, give me a metal saucer. Thank God for that. Oh no, shit, I didn't have one in there, do I? I'll risk that to die. Take that. Have I not seen my ADP? God damn. Primate Wisdom is a fucking great card. Alright. Mad party, man. You dirty little deck. So the problem is, these little single prizes, man, it's gonna ruin me. But how hard it can hit. Damn, that's gonna hit A. The thing I need to get, realistically, is a. Do I add Amazon to this deck? There's a lot of tea breaks kicking in now. Can I, get, I did get rid of my reset stamp. The thing is, I'm just going to knock out this TRG here. Well, it's not a bad problem for me. Because I'll probably deck out at this rate. 140. That's not too bad, actually. Cool. Half a range thing. Right, uh, throw the energy there. Uh, a Vangaroo. That back to the top deck. Finally. Uh, we'll get rid of the scoop up there. Do I go for the... yeah. Maybe the there. There. Well, Professor Research out. Not a bad position to be in. I, I can take that. Alright, well Grave Blade, because we've got a turn then at least. Not a bad position to be in. Got an NG switch. So if even if they get a knockout here. We've got the NG deck. We need the NG mate. There's the NG most drop. How many he's got? Two. Ooh, fuck. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, it's nearly high enough to kill me. But I'm gonna just swap the NG over. Get that out. I made build up the Age of Smash. Yeah, build up the Age of Smash. That's the plan. Big jump on the edge slash. Energy switch. That onto him. Drop a warp energy on it. Drop a... See if we just get an air balloon off the top. The air balloon could have helped. That's why I like the Skylake, because it gives me the opportunity to just uh, take in a card I know I need. It's 
So now if we retreat into that bad boy, and then Auto Creation GX. Now we're hitting for double prizes everywhere. Realistically, all I need is an energy on him. An energy we've gone for it. Not a lot. Oh, he's bossed up that. Well played. He gets two there, then knocks that out. That's the pain in the ass here. And you see how much he's hitting for. That's when he's changing it away. How much are you hitting for? 180. Okay, cool. But I can either start swinging for double prizes anyway. So I can knock that one out. He's not going to knock me out. Perfect. Um, I'm going to Rangaroo. What's the top deck? No scoop. I'll go for that. Can't really argue with that. No, uh, what do we want to grab from there at the moment? Nothing as of yet. Maybe the Sonya later. The Ornate Ray. Knock that out. Grab the Turn and G, sling them on him. Two prizes there. We're still in a really awkward position here, trying to knock out three prize cards here. But I know he can't knock out these, so that's fine. So at least I've got one more hit before it really does hit the fan. Do have any more switch? Use all our switch. Use all our airplane. Ah! Bulga! This is a problem. There's the new. Reset stun pass to free. Ooh. Do not need that. So what the energy on top. And not very funny. Not a bad position for him. Ah no. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Can't be able to do the math, but let's see how hard he hits me. Ooh, still not enough though, 240. You would still survive. No, you would not survive. Ooh. You get boss, there's no screw. So, I need that switch, but I ain't got one. I have got an air balloon either. Let's keep up there. Crap. So I can either retreat and go that route and hope that you don't knock me over, you will. Damn. It's got me beat here. Screw it, let's go for this route. So it's not going to happen, but. At least I can slow something down. That's my plan. Does give me one more turn. Yes. Doesn't mean it's going to help. Not so much. How many melt sources do I have left in the deck? Two melt sources left in the deck. I'll play. Damn it. Mad Party coming through and wrecking my life again. <laughs> I swear, Mad Party is just one of those decks that to wreck me every time. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're going to fire that shit to break. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Hopefully, a child's out there. Hmm. 
find that thing first. Okay, do not know what this deck is. And that's the top deck. Oh, we'll bring the next one. Screw it. Oof. What's that? What a good hand. Um. Hmm. Right, oh, oh shit, I don't want to place that down. Pop that on top and see what we get. Cheap metal saucer, let's hang that in there. And done. No, not very good, not very good at all. Not a very good start. I got none of my boys out. Organization, got none. Got the switch though. Ooh, Pokemon communication, okay. What you get like a man? Okay. All right, if I get the right card here, I can just win next time. And I have it. Hard luck on that one. There's still a rush of sand. I'm slow playing out a little bit, but it is what it is. That's game. Nice and easy, quick win. Boom. Nice and easy win. Well, these games this week were hit and miss. Mad Party wrecked me because I wasn't able to get off quick enough. So that happens. And Mad Party is one of those cool little rogue decks that everyone loves to hate. Or loves. I don't know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Um, I'm always happy to read them. Yeah, we have like three more weeks of Vivid Voltage to try and get as much Metal Coat and Energy as possible. Let me know if you think we should go for the ADP route or skip that and go to more of a Zation build route. See where we go. But yeah, more Vivid Voltage coming up next week. But for now, I'll catch all you fine, beautiful people later. Bye, guys. Peace out.